All right there, guys. I'm back out of here. Back at it again. With Gracie. Hi, Gracie. As promised, wheel bearings. Um, one of the interesting side effects of fixing the exhaust is I can hear actually how bad these wheel bearings are. And the car does have a bit of a death wobble at higher speeds. So I've got to take care of it. I have bearings, like I said in the previous video. I hope they're right. So what I'm going to do is jack it up, try and pop this hub off, see what I got in there. Hopefully there's a part number or something, or I could take some measurements and see if it's the same as the bearings I got. If they are, and the races aren't stuck in there too tight, it should be a fairly straightforward job. If it's not, then I've got to, you know, use techniques to get those races out and start looking for bearings and stuff. So hopefully it won't be too bad. What? You're not helping. So, this project might be over the course of a few days. Um, but, we'll pull this tire off, get in there, and see what I find. No one's talking to you. Yeah, so here's a quick update. Car up on the jack, got the hubcap off, getting ready to pull the wheel. I'm like, oh, I'll give it a wiggle. See how that bearing is. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that's a bad wheel bearing. Or two. I just hope the spindle isn't damaged. I gotta order, I gotta find some lug nuts too. The lug studs. But yeah, so needless to say, this is a lot worse than it was just a month or so ago when I got it out for the year and did an inspection. So this is uh, overdue. All right, here's what came out. A mess. Here's the old inner, correction, outer, the old outer. The cage is cracked. The balls are pretty rough, so a lot of metal in there. Here's the race. It's got a new lip machined into it. I think they call that self-clearancing. Here's the new outer, new old stock, but it looks right, so I think I'm lucky there. Here's the inner, which actually isn't bad, shockingly, but I've got one. I've got two, so I'm going to do both sides. So I'm going to change that out, um, and I got the seals, the inner seal here somewhere i gotta find it um but it doesn't look too bad to get out i'll start tapping on these races see if they come out if they don't i'll run a beetle weld around the inside which will shrink them and then they should fall out so hopefully i'll be in pretty good shape with that yeah let's see all right it's back together with the help of Gracie and my lovely bride who does not want to be on camera. Um, I think it's a little tighter now. Yeah, I feel safer with that. So I got the new bearings in, the new races went in easy. Um, or not too easy, they went in like they should. One thing I did find was the outer bearing, when I pulled it apart, they had the inner outer race on backwards. So there was no way for the castle nut to torque it down properly. So once I spun that around and put it in correctly, everything tightened right up, and now it feels pretty good. Well, it feels really good, actually. So what I'm going to do is put the hubcap back on, torque, well, put, torque the lug nuts, put the hubcap back on, pull the other side apart, do that real quick, and then take it for a test drive. So hopefully the death wobble will be gone, and you won't need three men and a boy to steer it through a parking lot. We'll see. All right, here we are, cruising down the road. What are we doing? Oh, a little over 60, that's pretty good for an 85 year old girl. It's nice and quiet, it's stable. There's still some play in the steering, but I think it's coming from, you know, the steering box. And I gotta get underneath there and look at the, you know, the joints and whatnot, the tie rod end, stuff like that. I'm sure there's slop in them, so we'll figure that out. But, way better than it was 
it would have been growling at me and not very, wandering around the road. So definitely we did something right. So the whole project went pretty quick. It took about, oh, an hour, hour and a half. And that was me taking my time and stopping to film and stuff like that. The other side, 45 minutes, you know, again, and, and not rushing. So I'm pretty happy with how this has come out. And uh, now what I'll do is I'll finish up this little old six or seven mile test drive. I'll go back, I'll take a look at it with the temperature gun, make sure the bearings aren't running hot. And then hopefully I can cross this off the list of things I need to do. All right, let's see you back at the house. Okay, we made it back alive. Um, car ran great, drove great, big difference. Wasn't wanted around the road, like I said. Um, I checked the wheel bearing temperatures. They're only about 15 degrees above ambient. That's no problem at all. That's to be expected. Uh, I'm very happy with how this came out. It was a quick and easy fix. I got lucky on the part numbers. Thanks to some good posts on the uh, Facebook groups and forums. I really appreciate everybody who responded and gave me the information I needed to get this done. Um, thanks a lot. I would have messed this up for sure. Would, would end up with the wrong parts for for you guys. So I'm very grateful. Um, my next project, hopefully, is later in the week. I want to start, I've got some new carpet. Uh, I know these cars came with rubber floors. I'm not a huge fan of rubber floors and uh, it's nasty the one that's in there. So I'm going to pull it out. Uh, I've got some tan carpet, which will match the factory interior. Uh, I'm going to cut that, do a little sewing. So that ought to be fun to watch. Um, and then fit that in the car. We'll make it a little more friendly. And I've got some other stuff I need to do. I need to, uh, I got brake work to do. There's still some air in the lines. I got to bleed them. Uh, get that out of there. And uh, these driving lights aren't hooked up yet. Get those wired in correctly. Um, so that's all stuff for future YouTube videos. I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed and commented. It's it's a real treat to hear from you guys. And, uh, you know, I, I get a kick out of sharing this stuff. So I'm glad you guys find this interesting. And thanks for all the, the kind words and, and whatnot. And the shares. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's super great. So like every other YouTuber, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I don't care about the YouTube algorithm. I just want to hear what people think, how to make this videos better, what's more useful for you. I've got some more equipment coming to hold my camera so I won't have to talk like this. You'll actually get to see me, unfortunately for you, and be able to see the work as I'm doing it a little more. Maybe that'll be more interesting than just a bunch of cuts. So uh, with that, I'll say thank you very much again, everybody, and we'll see you soon.